Welcome to our third and final topic on the series of What Does the Bible Teach? This topic being eternal life on the earth. So in this series, our third topic is a follow-on from the first topic, What Happens When We Die? And the second being on resurrection. Okay, so let's start our third topic, eternal life on the earth. Friends, the Bible does promise a future kingdom coming on the earth where for the first time since the first person's death on this earth being able, death will finally be done away with on the earth. 1 Corinthians 15, speaking about Jesus, Then cometh the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power, for he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. So when will the kingdom be set up and where? Well we know that when Jesus returns that he will set up the kingdom and we've been promised that in Acts 1 when the angels spoke to the apostles and they said that Jesus will so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. And where will the kingdom be? Well we know it'll be on earth. Matthew 5, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And Zechariah 14, That the Lord shall be king over all the earth. So there are many, many verses that plainly teach exactly the same thing, that the kingdom will be on earth. But for the next couple of minutes, let's cover why it is on earth. God made key promises to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, and to David, and also to Mary, and also through the prophets. And it makes us 100% sure that the kingdom of God will be on earth at Jesus' return. We'll just have a look at three key verses. Genesis 13 was a promise to Abraham that was also carried on to Isaac and to Jacob, his grandson. And it was all about land. And it was about his seed or his descendants inheriting that land forever. Also the promise made to David in 2 Samuel 7, it was a promise that David's throne would be established forever. His kingdom, that's the only time that you'll see a throne is when there's a kingdom, would be established forever. And the promise made to Mary by the angel tied these promises together that it was going to be through Jesus who was a descendant of Abraham and also a descendant of David and that he would reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom and his throne, inheriting it from David, there would be no end. So everlasting kingdom on earth. Pretty great promises, aren't they? So that's all well and good, but how do we get involved? Because we're not descendants of Abraham, we're not Israelites. So how do we get involved with these promises? Well, as we know from our second topic, it is through Jesus via baptism. Some amazing, some amazing scripture here in Galatians 3 that proves that if we get baptised, then the promises made to Abraham about inheriting the earth forever applies to us. It says, For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you have been baptised into Christ, have put on Christ. And at the end it says, you are all one in Christ Jesus, and if you be Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So we can inherit the earth. We can inherit the kingdom by being linked to Jesus and in so being linked to Abraham's promises regarding the earth and also the promise made to David being in the kingdom forever. So it will only be in the kingdom that sin and death will be eventually done away with where those who are related to Jesus and found worthy at the judgment seat will be given the gift of eternal life to die no more. Corinthians 15, So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. 2 Timothy 1, But is now made manifest by the appearing of our Saviour Jesus Christ who hath abolished death, and hath brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Just unbelievable verses. What a wonderful hope we have 
if we choose to follow God. So friends, conditions do apply. Baptism is essential, but then we must follow the teachings and the instructions and the example by Jesus. We must make God's word a part of our lives. 1 Corinthians 6 states, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Then Paul to the Corinthians goes on to list all those attributes that will exclude us from the kingdom. So, friends, that is how death is overcome. We must overcome sin now by living a life in Jesus. And even if we die before Jesus' return, we have the hope of resurrection and eternal life on the earth. So in conclusion, let's have a look at what the Bible says conditions will be like on the earth when the kingdom is set up. Isaiah 65 in part says, But be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing, and her people a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem, and joy in my people. And the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. For they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, and the lion shall eat straw like the bullock, and dust shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, saith the Lord. It's completely different to the conditions of what we see around us today. In Revelation 21 and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. So I hope that you found our topics uh, useful and interesting, and I encourage you to please pick up your Bible and prove these things for yourself. Happy studying, and I hope to hear from you sometime um, feel free to reach out to us for any reason at any time on the details that are listed. Thank you and hope to hear from you soon.